Hi, my name is Keisha Lai and this is my colleague Miriam Breen and we are part of the team that reviews applications for Advance at NUS. And we are here today to talk about the application process for Advance at NUS, answer some FAQs, maybe give some tips. So, shall we begin? So Miriam, what's the difference between an advanced and a regular undergraduate application? That's a great question. The applications are actually very different. While for advanced at NUS, we do ask for educational background and qualifications, what we're really interested in is your work experience, your personal statements, we ask for two, and what two professional referees have to say about you. That is very different from a traditional A-level and polytechnic application to NUS. So when we talk about work experience, what exactly are we looking for? For work experience, we're looking not just for the companies you've worked for or the job titles or the skills you have, we are interested in those, but your career trajectory. We require a minimum of four years of work experience and we want to hear about your responsibilities and how you've progressed in the jobs you've had. So be sure to give us information that shows us what you've been doing. Be precise about your job responsibilities. You can even give specific examples. This isn't just a CV. Uh, and it is also useful if you can show us that you have had some work or even volunteer experience related to the program you are applying to. So for example, if you are applying to an engineering program, it helps if you can show us that you have had some work experience related to engineering. Uh, and we have had a couple of successful applicants into our social work program because they have demonstrated you know, their commitment to helping people through their volunteer uh, and not just their professional experience. I agree. Having relevant experience, whether professional or volunteer, will boost your application. Um, Keisha, tell me more about the personal statements. What are we looking for? So, in your personal statements, we want to get to know you a little bit. Uh, tell us, why are you applying to this particular program? And how do you think this degree will affect your career? Uh, give us some details, you know. Don't, don't just say, oh, earning a bachelor's degree will help my career, you know. Explain uh, how, how do you think this degree will help, such as I can take on more managerial responsibilities, or I can apply to become a teacher with this degree, or uh, I can use this degree to do more business analytics and rise in my company, you know, be, be specific. Uh, and, and don't waste space, you know, you, you don't need to tell us that you want to come to NUS because it is like your dream or that NUS is great. I mean, you know, we kind of know that already. <laughs> so, but, but tell us why, why this program that you are applying to, or, or what will this degree do for you and your career? You know? uh, and, and also, show us that you have researched the program, that you know uh, what you are applying to, and that you have some understanding of the curriculum. That's great. And here's another tip. To say in your personal statement that you've managed major projects is vague. Give us a specific example of a project that you led or you were involved in that highlights your capabilities and your interests. Tell us about a project you learned from or are proud of, even if it didn't go exactly as you intended. Be specific. Mm -hmm. yeah. give, give some details. Yeah. So I have a question for you, Keisha, about the personal statements. Does writing quality count? Oh, absolutely. And there are two main reasons why it counts. Uh, as an NUS student, you are going to be doing a lot of writing. And so this is your chance to show us what you can do. Another reason why writing quality matters uh, is because it tells us that you care about your application and how you present yourself. So take the time to get it right. Uh, this isn't a timed writing assignment, so please be sure to proofread it carefully. Uh, and we recommend that you read your essays out loud, preferably to a trusted friend or a colleague, and, and ideally more than once, to make sure that you are presenting your best self. That's great advice. Um, some other advice that I would give an applicant on their personal statements, use all the available space on the application form. An applicant who writes only three or four sentences for personal statements loses out 
because we have less information to use to get to know them. And it doesn't look great. If you only write a few sentences, it doesn't seem like you're very enthusiastic. And like you said, proofread, proofread, proofread. It's a good habit. Well, Miriam, any tips for choosing referees? Absolutely. Choose people who are familiar with your professional experience and capabilities, not just colleagues who will say nice things about you. When you talk to your referees, be sure to let them know that you are applying for an academic program. Tell them which one, not for a job. So they should speak about your intellectual capabilities, your curiosity, your drive, your problem solving skills. A referee who tells us about an applicant's novel idea to solve an HR work problem is providing us with information that's helpful. In contrast, a referee who says that the applicant is well-liked or nice or easygoing isn't really sharing information that's useful to us. I mean, not that, you know, being nice or easygoing or helpful is, is not good. I mean, it's, it's good, okay? But what we're really trying to understand is if you can thrive and perform well in an intensive academic setting like at NUS. So ideally, your referees should speak to that. Shall we move on to some FAQs? Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. um, this is a question we're often asked. I see on the Advance website that there are scholarships available. How do I apply for a scholarship? <laughs> well, um, all Advance applicants are automatically considered for a scholarship. So put your best foot forward on your application and show us your passion. There's a section that asks for academic history. How much of my academic history should I include? So you should include all certificates and programs that you have completed. Uh, beyond this, if you have taken any skills future courses or courses that are related to your interests or the program that you are applying to. Uh, and if you have, please include them. Uh, and if you aren't sure, just ask us. We're here to help you. Well, but um, but Miriam, some applicants have expressed concern that they have a weak academic history. What should they do in these cases? First, please remember that your academic record is not the most important part of your application. It helps us understand your background and gives us some idea of your academic potential. But we know that people grow, mature, and learn as they acquire experience. Maybe you have the drive now to excel academically that you didn't have when you were younger. So if your academic record is weak or you don't have an academic record that's related to the program you're applying to, here are a couple of suggestions. Use part of your personal statements to talk about why you think your academic record doesn't reflect your current capabilities and why you think you'll succeed at NUS or why your academic history is so different from the program you're applying to now. And another suggestion, if your academic record is weak or unrelated to the program, take a course or two in the field you're interested in and applying to. This could be a short course in, in person or online, it doesn't matter. This will be helpful for you because it, you'll see whether you are really good at it and you like it. And it'll be helpful for us because it will show us what you can do now. Um, so what if I'm currently unemployed or I have uh, employment gaps in my, in my rec record? Good question. You should still give us your employment history, of course, um, and tell us what you did or have been doing during any periods of unemployment. Have you been volunteering, taking any courses, taking care of a family member? The purpose of the application isn't to judge you, it's to get to know you. Uh, and what if someone has questions about the application process? That's what our email address is for. Shoot us an email and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Um, can you think of any other FAQs? What happens to my application after I submit? Well, so first, we make sure that we have all of your information and supporting documentation. Uh, and the Scale Admissions Office will contact you if anything is missing or if a referee hasn't submitted their report. Uh, then your application and all of your supporting documentation is read by several people on a committee, not just the both of us. Uh, and the committee reads everything. And that is to help us get a best understanding of you. Uh, and then 
After that, the committee comes to a consensus on whether to offer admissions. Uh, which leads to another question, uh, which is, why is the application process at NUS so rigorous? Well, we're not looking at your application by the numbers, like a traditional undergraduate application. We take a holistic approach, which means we try to look at the whole of you, not just a test score. You are the sum of many experiences, including professional and educational experiences, and we take whatever you give us into account, which is again another reason to make sure you do a great job on your application. You are advocating for yourself. And if you're coming to NUS, we want you to succeed at NUS. We want you to get that degree and to be able to move toward your career aspirations. To get off on the right foot, most of our programs have an additional requirement. For example, our engineering programs will require you to brush up on your math and physics skills with a bridging course. Our curriculum and programs are stringent with high standards and we want you to be prepared and to succeed in your program. Um, any other tips that you, that you have to share with us? If you're applying to study something that doesn't otherwise appear in your application, it's not something you've studied before, it's not related to any of your jobs, be sure to tell us about your interest. Show us that you've thought about it and you know at least something about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, well, that's it, guys. Uh, we wish you all the best and we look forward to seeing your application. Good luck. <laughs>